Hello, Yahya Sultan Kazi, how are you? Hello, Dr. Asif, I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine, thank you so much for your time. Uh, well, you're most welcome, thank you. First of all, congratulations to you that you have qualified CAPS exam on first attempt. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, it's all the efforts of yours. I'm very thankful to you. Thank you so much. Okay, so before going to our main discussion, uh, I want that you can please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Dr. Yahya Sultan, a registered pharmacist in Pakistan. And I have uh, graduated from University of Sawabi back in 2019. And uh, up till now, I have been working in a marketing uh, company as a sales uh, officer. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now uh, you can please share your CAPS journey from the beginning that when you decide to uh, appear for the CAPS exam. Uh, well, uh... Uh, from the beginning, I must say that uh, I didn't know much about the CAPS, yet the people, the colleagues, all were discussing uh, such type of exams that we have. We can take Netflix or we can take CAPS, but most of the uh, people, the pharmacists from Pakistan used to go for the MOH or hard exam, uh, which is uh, for the Dubai, uh, UAE states, right? So, um, I have also uh, planned to go for MOH exam. And it was, uh, I must say, it was a lucky day for me that I visited you uh, in your pharmacy that day. I still remember when I was uh, very confused about all these uh, yeah, I remember, right? exams. Yeah, and uh, then I've discussed with you and you suggested me that we, uh, the I should go for the CAPS exam, which is uh, not very much difficult and you gave me the uh, the right path and you were the one who actually uh, applied for me uh, online and um, that's how my uh, CAPS journey started. So how you are feeling now after qualifying CAPS exam? Well, <laughs> to be honest, I'm really happy because uh, after such a long struggle, and uh, you know, uh, carrying out with the job and um, taking time from that and cutting the, uh, you know, your different uh, uh, very busy routine and then studying. So no doubt it's a very uh, difficult thing. And um, uh, I got the very positive results. So obviously I'm very much happy. Okay, so yeah, yeah, my first question is, how much time is basically required to prepare for CAPS exam? What do you think? Uh, well, uh, it depends if uh, you have a good grip on uh, your basics, right? Like pharmacology, uh, we have, uh, uh, we should have a very basic knowledge uh, related to pharmacology. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have the physiology, uh, pharmaceutical chemistry. So if you are in touch with the academics, uh, you minimum need two months to work hard and at least you should study for six, four to six hours per day. So I think that will be enough to cover up the whole uh, other subjects, which, uh, uh, for example, the calculation is very tough part and most of the pharmacists lag in calculation. So for those people who are in touch with economics, two months are enough. For those who are not, maybe four months, uh, they will take four months to get over the course. Okay, thank you. Okay, so yeah, yeah, escapes is basically uh, consist of two papers, right? Paper one is consist of 70% pharmacology and 30% pharmaceutical chemistry. So what do you think that how to prepare for paper one? Uh, well, uh, I must say that uh, um, if a pharmacist uh, for paper one, I must say that pharmacology is all related to Lippin Court. The Lippin Court book is more than enough to study, to clear the pharmacology part, right? Okay. And physiology uh, questions are not so much difficult. If you are a pharmacist, you have studied uh, the physiology in your uh, graduation. So I think that knowledge is more than enough to clear with the physiology part as well. So 70% of the part is like, 
not that much difficult, which will uh, which will get you in trouble or something like that. Uh, as uh, far as we talk about the uh, pharmaceutical chemistry, mm -hmm. so for that you must at least revise your. Um, I must say your lectures are more than enough to revise the pharmaceutical chemistry. You can easily clear it. Okay. And what yeah. do you think that students need to focus uh, on which uh, subjects in the pharmaceutical chemistry? I mean that uh, medicinal chemistry is very important or the stereochemistry is very important or the organic chemistry or biochemistry or the analytical chemistry, which subjects are very important? Uh, well, uh, as I have encountered few questions uh, from the structure, right? And there were many questions related to enantiomers, stereoisomers, mm -hmm. and uh, the textro levo and their examples, right? So these are the type of questions and these are the topics which a uh, candidate should focus on. Uh, structures mainly are not so much complicated, so much difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, you can easily pick it up if you have gone through the main, main structures, right? Like penicillins and similarly like NSAIDs. So uh, if you know the main structure, the main rings, you can easily get the uh, the option. It will be right in front of you. Okay, so uh, for, you mean that a student should memorize the side chains, the main side chains, that how the amphicillin are different from the uh, amoxicillin or the methicillin, dichloxicillin. Exactly. exactly, exactly. Like they will not give you the exact penicillin structure, they will give you some side chains which you mm -hmm. should recognize that, okay, this is cloxacillin or oxacillin or cloxacillin. So that is how it goes. Okay. And uh, how much MCQs the student expect from the pharmaceutical chemistry is on the Australian Pharmacy Council website, it is mentioned that 30% is pharmaceutical chemistry. So a student expect 30 MCQs from the pharmaceutical chemistry or how much? What is your experience? Uh, well, uh, I have encountered the, the MCQs that I remember, <clears throat> 25 MCQs I have just noted with me that these were from the chemistry part. So okay. uh, maybe I'm missing few MCQs, but I think there is 30% of the portion which belongs to the pharmaceutical chemistry. Okay, so yeah. the students need to correctly answer at least 15 MCQs out of 30 to pass the paper in the pharmaceutical chemistry portion. Exactly, yeah, the paper is divided into two parts. Mm -hmm. One is pharmacology and one is pharmaceutical chemistry. So if you get 70% of the pharmacology, you must you must at least score 45% to clear the pharmacology portion. And same goes with the pharmaceutical chemistry. If you get 30%, so you must clear at least 15 questions to get over the whole paper. If you, uh, in, by any chance, if you score less, the whole paper will be uh, canceled or you can say you will fail. Okay, so for the student, for the students, I will explain over here that getting 50% in every portion is mandatory requirement to pass the paper. You should score at least 50% in the pharmaceutical chemistry part and 50% at least in the pharmacology part, then you will be able to pass the paper. Exactly. So, and what about the paper two, Yahya? How to prepare for the paper two? What was your experience? Well. Paper two, no doubt, is a tough one. Definitely uh, throughout the world, it is being uh, said by the people that paper two is the toughest one. Okay. But if uh, if you have prepared specifically uh, the topics and the lectures that I took from you and the topics that you have prepared, that were very much helpful. And we didn't uh, stuck anywhere that was like something which came out of nowhere. Everything that came in front of me, I have gone through it in the past uh, four months that I have been preparing, right? So if you uh, go through the course, if you prepare well, you will definitely uh, get the MCQs easy. There are some MCQs which are be very much confusing, 
Uh, but still, if you um, thoroughly think over it, you will get you will the answer will be right in front of you. You can just easily uh, pick the answer. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so S paper two is consists of thirty percent pharmaceutics and seventy percent therapeutics. So, what mm -hmm. do you think? that in the pharmaceutics, which chapters or which topics are very, very important. Like in the pharmaceutics, there are some chapters like physical pharmacy, okay? And the pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics and biopharmaceutics and the calculations, how to calculate biological half-life, how to calculate renal and hepatic clearance and how to calculate maintenance dose, loading dose. So students need to focus on which chapters and the 30% part of the paper too. What is basically- well, to be <clears throat> to be honest, I would suggest that uh, the chapters from um, the CPR, the chapter two and chapter five, mm -hmm. they are like very much important uh, as far as we consider the calculation part. Then calculation, uh, mainly I ha I've encountered like <clears throat> 12 calculations in my paper. Okay. From and the pharmaceutical or overall? Overall, overall. Okay. Overall, I have encountered 12 uh, MCQs uh, related to calculation, uh, which were which included like uh, volume of distribution. There are two. There were there were two questions re related to volume of distribution, uh, the T half, and there were some related to um, like hepatic clearance. I have got that as well, okay. and there were some MCQs which were like simple cross multi multiplication, and okay. two questions were based on allegation method. Okay, dilution method. Okay. So like these all are, uh, in, including uh, my uh, one of my um, mate, uh, the one who was sitting behind uh, beside me who was giving the test, he told me that he encountered questions of millimoles. So Many like millimoles. all these are important. All these are very much important. To, at so, least we should know the formulas. Okay. So a student, at least how many questions a student expect and the pharmaceutic part and the therapeutics part, uh, the calculations questions. The calculation questions can vary uh, from five to 25. Like there oh. are, are some guys who are telling that we encountered 20 questions related to calculations, mixing all of them, like from both of the parts. Mm -hmm. So it depends upon uh, the pattern that you get. Uh, you can get like 25 questions or 22 questions, or you might get only two to three questions related to calculation. Okay. And uh, what about the therapeutics? There are some chapters in the therapeutics uh, part, like medicine choice, mm -hmm. the drug of choices, the doses, okay, and managing the minor ailments. So what do you mm -hmm. think? Student needs to focus on which type of topics in the therapeutics? In therapeutics, uh, the may, most important, the chapters that I would suggest is the CVS, mm -hmm. uh, the antibiotics, the CNS. These are the favorite subjects of the CAPS, right? Mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, into more details, I would say that the indications of drugs, their side effects, their interactions, especially the warfarin interaction with different kind of uh, with different drugs, they pick those questions very much. Uh, along with that, I would say the enzyme inducers and enzyme inhibitors. I didn't get any question uh, this time, uh, but I have seen in past papers that they have repeated these questions as well. Uh, they are also, you can say, important. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm talking about my paper, so I've got no question related to uh, enzymes. Okay. The vaccines are also important. And most important thing that I have encountered this time was the counseling point. Yeah, that is drugs. the main point in the that was July exams. Important and unique this time. Mm. Okay, yeah. so student needs to focus on the counseling points, like for example, amiodarone counseling points and the other counseling points, the mm -hmm. dangerous uh, side effects and their counseling points related. They will give you, like I have encountered the counseling points related to uh, many of the OTC drugs uh, mm. related to permethrin, right? Mm. So these are some kind of uh, topics they, they like it a lot. 
Okay. And uh, what about the doses of drugs? Yes, they, they, uh, I have got few doses of the drugs. Uh, that is very much important, especially for the antibiotics and the CVS drugs. Okay. And what about the toxicology chapter and the therapeutics? Uh, for my paper, I didn't get uh, a single question from toxicology, but I have heard from other people that they, they encounter questions. Okay. And uh, yeah. so you mean that students need to focus on the counseling points, the antibiotics chapter and the CVS drugs, okay, and the CNS. And what about the endocrine pharmacology? Endocrine pharmacology, yes, it is important as uh, the steroids and the diabetes, anti-diabetics. Oh. Yeah, these two are very much important. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. So at the last, what you will suggest to students that how to start preparation for the exam? Well, uh, it was a very good luck of me that uh, I have uh, met you first of all, and uh, I have joined Pharmonix uh, Academy, and I started my preparation from Pharmonix. Uh, unluckily, I didn't get the seat in March, so uh, I had to go for the July. I have booked slot in July, and during this period when I uh, finished the lecture in Pharmonix, I felt that I still am lagging behind. Uh, I need to cover or I need to study more. So uh, I have then uh, again joined you in uh, the Dreamers Academy, which actually provided a platform and a right path how to study the material. I must say that material that I have gathered related to CAPS was a lot. Like yeah. there were very much material. There was a lot of MCQs. There were so many of the uh, topics and so many of the files that I have downloaded. I have even copied them. I didn't know where, which one to pick first, which one to study first and how to summarize the things. Uh, the Dreamers Academy actually made it so much easy and so much specific and uh, they, uh, the Dreamers Academy actually, Dr. Asif, I I'm, I'm <laughs> must say that you have actually summarized the whole course on one page, which actually helped a lot. So this is, I, I would definitely suggest the newcomers or the, the beginners to join the academy, which is very much necessary for their preparation. Okay, thank you so much, Yahya Sultan Kazi. Uh for your time, okay? And uh, what is your last message if you want to give to the CAPS aspirants? That CAPS exam is easy exam or it is difficult exam? What do you think now? Well, uh, I must say that it's not uh, that much easy or it's not like impossible. Do not consider the CAPS exam or do not take it lightly. It's not really a piece of cake if somebody says that they will clear it on the first setting. I have seen people who have attempted twice and they still are waiting to attempt for thrice. So I must say that prepare well, uh, be specific, join academy, uh, I, I, something that can just uh, summarize you the whole caps, uh, you can say the whole syllabus, because the, the, the syllabus is so scattered, they have, including, they have included each and everything from the Form D. Mm -hmm. So uh, you must need a proper guidance and a proper path to go on. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Yahya Sultan Kazi. So this is the end of interview. And uh, I will just say that if you have any question, uh, relating to this CAPS exam and the assessment and the other steps. So you can uh, write in the comment section and Yahya Sultan Kazi and me uh, will answer you, will guide you, okay? And uh, do not hesitate, okay? You can ask us and write in the comment section, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Asif.